Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play um, Nora. Uh, this is a free game on Steam and uh, I'm actually playing this for a very specific reason. Um, let me get the store page up real quick. This was made by Monster Lab and published by DigiPen Institute of Technology? Wait, so is this like a college project or something? Well, <laughs> the, the reason why I'm playing this is because um, a friend of mine actually did sell uh, some background art and um, decorations, in her words, for this game. Uh, also, this is not the type of game I normally play, by the way. Um, <laughs> I normally play, like, RPGs, and one of the reasons why is because I, I kind of have a hard time uh, playing platformers and talking at the same time. I, mean, I love platformers, but, like... Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love platformers and all that, but I have a difficult time talking while doing them at the same time. I'm also trying out my Steam controller for the very first time. I just plugged it in and just kind of started using it. Um, it appears to be working. I heard that this is like a tough-as-nails platformer, so I, I kind of hope that, um, that I'm able to finish this. <laughs> oh, okay, the controller is working. That's pretty cool. I really like the artwork. I follow, um, her, her name is Zeodines. She goes by a couple names. Uh, uh just Zeo. I, I, I follow her Twitter, and, uh, she has po been posting, like, some art from this game, although I didn't know it was from the game as of the time she was uploading it, so... Oh, goodness, you have a dash. Oh, the dash is... I am really glad I, I picked up a controller for this. <laughs> Fire? Is that like a checkpoint? Oh, and those crumble. This is very different so far. I'm not sure I've ever told the story of this, um... of this, uh, Steam controller before, but I asked for it as a birthday gift because, like, at the time, they were discontinuing the controller, so it was, like, five dollars, so I figured, why not? Whoa. Why am I buff all of a sudden? I really like the character. I've noticed a lot of, like, th there have been a lot of, like, indie games with, like, oh, so that recharges my dash, okay, with, like, abstract characters, if that makes sense. Like, Hollow Knight comes to mind, but I've never played Hollow Knight. I really should. I'm doing better at this than I thought it would so far. This is, like, kind of challenging for, like, a first area, though. Oops. I've never played Celeste either, though this... Kind of reminds me of like some screenshots and short clips I've seen from that game. Mostly just the dash that can like go in all directions. Left trigger. What? What does the left trigger do? Oh, it slows down time. Okay. That's going to be very useful for platforming. Let's see if I can use it without it. <laughs> yeah. Like, maybe I'm not bad at platformers, maybe I just need a controller, because, I don't know, platformers with a with a keyboard are not the greatest. What did I do there? Oh, whoops. I kind of wonder if there's an attack command, or if this game is just 100% platforming. Oh, I have to dash through it. It turns off some lasers, but turns on others. Okay. This game is free on Steam, by the way. I think I mentioned that, but if you want to try this yourself, um, I'll leave a link um, below if that interests you. Ah, nope. Oh, that's really nice how you restart almost instantly. I'm gonna use my... Oh, whoops. I'm gonna use my slowdown for this. Uh, did they go back? I guess not. Ooh. Did that say wash your hands? <laughs> I really like the weight on the character. 
Oh, whoops, wrong button. That was my fault. Uh, it feels very satisfying in the... Oh, I touched it. It feels very satisfying. The controls are, like, very snappy. I'm gonna use my slowdown here. Come on. There we go. Right off the bat, I, I should say, there should be an achievement for being the whole game without sl using slowdown once. It just feels like something a game like this would do. Okay, I ran out of slowdown there. One thing I really respect about Hard as Nails platformers I've seen over the past couple years, like, they pride themselves in being difficult, but they always have, like, a way to make it a little bit easier for people who just want to play the game for the sake of playing the game for fun. I mean, I, I love Cuphead's difficulty as much as the next guy, but I like that there is an easy mode so people who aren't as used to that game or just want to see the game for all the fun rubber hose stuff can play in for that, or can enjoy it for that. Is that one of her assets? I know she did some characters that were in, like, test tubes. Oh, I didn't see that platform there. Ah. Okay, I gotta find a way so I'm not dashing to the left when I do get to that final one. Like that, that's a problem. Maybe I could... Yeah, like that, I could just not, like, waste as much energy going through that one. Oh, that goes all the way. I really hope you guys can't hold uh, hear the controller, by the way. This Steam controller is the clickiest controller I have ever used. <laughs> But I do have it under the desk, so hopefully you guys can hear it. Uh, what is... Uh, is this a boss? Nope, okay. Ah. We're gonna have to go back through, our, uh, back through here, aren't we? Okay, hold on. Ah. I can see a part in this where I'm probably going to use my slowdown. Not that. Oh, I like that it regens over time too. Oh, ah. Okay, th this is this is fun. <laughs> that jump is like really high though. Oh, nah. Now I kind of wonder how this plays on keyboard, because there were keyboard controls. In fact, they were kind of the Default. How am I supposed to do that? Maybe I'm supposed to like rock it straight up so I can give myself more air time there. That is about a doubt a place where I'm probably intended to use a slowdown though, just to make that a little bit easier. So like that maybe? There is room there to, to float, so probably so. It's gonna run out. Oh. I 
keep angling myself up too much. Oh, I didn't hit it. All right. And this is the other reason why I don't let's play platformers that often. <laughs> the constant pressure to move forward. Like, honestly, I would love to just kind of sit here and try this over again, but we got a video here I got to show off. Okay, so... So is that one right there, that jump. Oh, and that one. <laughs> okay, let's just slow down for that whole section. I think I kind of need it. Oh, I think I almost did it. Oh, if I have a charge dash as I go through that, I lose it by default. Right, so go straight up and... Oh, okay. I should have kept holding it down there. Nope, I went way too far there. A second. Can I stand on the edge? Oh my goodness, I can. That doesn't feel intentional, but maybe I can kind of cheese this part by standing right here. Yeah, that might be a way to do. Ooh. That might be a way to do it. That doesn't feel intentional, though. Uh oh. Honestly, I'm having so much trouble with this part that I am willing to do it in an unintentional way. How much do you want to bet this is like a first big difficulty spike for some people? <laughs> Every Hard as Neil's platformers has that one section, you know? Oh my goodness, that was... my dad or I didn't get that second dash darn it okay I'm really starting to mess this up hold on That's how you're supposed to do it, but it's how I'm gonna do it, darn it. <laughs> I like the little subtlety with the UI. I just kinda noticed that. Like look, when I jump, the little arrow, like this little there's this little reticle. When the arrow on the reticle disappears, that means I don't have my dash anymore. Oh I oh, that messed that up. And the little radius around that little um that little icon hold on. 
the icon shows I I'm going way too fast when I hit that part. Shows how much um, speed I have left, or how much slowdown I have left. I mean, it says in the top two, but sometimes you don't want to look at that. Sometimes you just want to look at your character. Because that's the important thing right now. Is this going to do it? What? I thought you could stand on that. Maybe you can't stand on those like, little solid bits on the end. Nope, I don't have my, jet, my dash. There's a lot of really good UI design in this. I really like this game a lot. Uh-oh. Yeah, I, that silver part is just for decoration. Okay. Check something. Oh. How do I hold on? Oh, is that dodge button? Oh, the dodge is the dash. All right. How do I resume? Resume game. Wait, I just noticed something too. You can dash and then jump. Oh! Oh my goodness, I just discovered that. And also, yeah, you can stand on these. I guess I was just getting unlucky. I love this idol pose. I don't know what this character is supposed to be, but I, I love them so much. <laughs> Okay. This is the easy part. Yes! Okay, good. Okay, that, that one tripped me up for a bit, but I'm, I'm glad I figured it out. This character's a lot of mobility. Oh! Oh, we got a chase sequence. Oh, I, do I have to do this whole thing in one go because it's a chase sequence? A speed run this game would look like. Can I have ducked under that? No, there's no duck. Uh, there's no ducking. Uh oh. Okay, I see the challenge here. It looks like there are multiple ways to get up this corridor. If I beeline it, I can get straight up here before that little laser turns on. Okay, I gotta find the quickest way, both from my playstyle and also... I kinda wanna go up this way. I waited too much there. I, I, could've, I could've dashed through there like the second I got to it. Uh-oh. <sighs> okay, I think I got a route, though. I'm fast. I gotta stop a minute for this one, but I should be able to still do this in time. I don't even need the second dash for that one. Good. Good. Okay, just... Wait, what? Oh, this is the way out! Oh, dang. Oh, oh, cool. <laughs> it's 
took me 16 minutes to do that. Click. Oh, I have to click here. Okay. Nora, copyright. Let, let's see if I can find her name. Uh, is it Zoe? She goes by Zio Online. That name is kind of similar to that. Programmer, special thanks. Faculty and advisors. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Um, that was... I, I gotta be honest, I really like that. This feels almost like it'd be a demo for a much larger game. Or like kind of a kind of a tech demo put out to see if people like this before they go f uh, all in with like a full like 10 hour game with this kind of gameplay style. I really like this and if this is like a prequel or like a precursor to something I would be very interested to see like what comes of it. <laughs> so yeah that was uh that was Nora that was pretty fun. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.